Hot dang, everybody, Pokemon Legends Arceus is here. Well, it's nearly here. And we are about to get our first taste of what an open-world-esque Pokemon game can truly be like. Heck, this is going to be our first taste at the future of Pokemon in general, so I am very hyped to say the least, and I hope you are too. While we all try to contain ourselves during this last little bit of time before the game's release, I thought it would be fun to go over five very interesting things that you should look out for while playing Legends Arceus. These are things that you might not have necessarily thought about to this point, but they make the prospect of this game so much more exciting, and the thought of these things being a part of the game makes me even more hyped for it. So without further ado, let's take a look at some interesting stuff that you should be looking out for while playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, in any Pokemon game, one of the basic features of it is the world building, the kind of stuff that helps to put you into the world of Pokemon. One of the ways this is done is through the people, and them talking about this world that they're in. In any given game, we also often get to hear about other Pokemon regions in comparison to the one we're playing in as a part of this, which helps to connect the Pokemon world as a whole, and I don't really expect this to be any different in Legends Arceus, which is extremely exciting due to the fact that we are playing in a past setting. We've never seen this era of the Pokemon world world before, so when we talk to NPCs and explore the Hisui region, just like in any other Pokemon game, we're likely to hear bits and pieces about other Pokemon regions as well, which is inherently going to possibly give us brand new lore about them, since we've obviously never seen those regions during this time frame either. While in other games these details are rather minute and unassuming, in Legends, due to the time frame, we could actually get some very interesting bits of lore and information about some of the other Pokemon regions in addition to Hisui, which is extremely exciting if you're a Pokemon lore junkie like I am. So make sure you inspect all those nooks and crannies and talk to those NPCs while you're playing Legends, because we just might get to learn about the past of other Pokemon regions as well, in addition to the past of Sinnoh. Another thing about Legends Arceus that has already proven to be a significant trend in the game are all of the characters, and more specifically, how most of them are the ancestors of characters from games set in the modern day. This has already proven to be a really cool way to connect this game to the modern day Sinnoh titles, and once the game releases, I think it's certain that we'll see even more of these ancestor characters. However, some of them might not be as obviously noticeable as others, because we can see in trailers for the game that ancestors of both Derek from the Battle Frontier and Charon of Team Galactic are present in the games as just simple merchants in Jubilife Village, so they don't seem to be in the spotlight as much as the other characters. There very well could be other ancestor characters like this that aren't quite as front and center either, so that will certainly be something to look out for while playing this game. However, another interesting possibility when it comes to these characters is that some of them could also be related to characters that we will eventually see in Generation 9. The reason I say this is because Gen 9 is creeping up on us. Pokemon Legends Arceus is releasing at a later point in Gen 8's lifespan, and these later points are typically when we see hints to future gens start to pop up. And since this would be the kind of thing that we wouldn't know until after the fact, when Gen 9 actually releases, it would be the perfect way to foreshadow the next generation of Pokemon without really giving anything away either, which is why I could really see it happening. So keep an eye on this one as Legends Arceus releases, and then also as we move forward into the next generation. You also want to look out for hints to Gen 9 just in general too, because there is legitimately a pretty good chance that we could see some. One big request I had for Pokemon Legends Arceus shortly after the game was revealed was a Sinjo Ruins event. The Sinjo Ruins appeared in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, not Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, but they're still very closely tied to the Sinnoh games. The event involves Arceus and the Creation Trio, and the Ruins themselves are said to have been built by tribes from both Johto and Sinnoh. 
Since these ruins were also built long ago, Pokemon Legends Arceus seemed like the time to finally shed some more light on them, since people have been dying for that to happen for a long time anyways. This had merely been just a hopeful wish for a while, but more information that was recently revealed about the game makes it all the more possible and all the more worth looking into as we finally get to play it for ourselves. This info would be the reveal of the Diamond and Pearl clans. In one of the more recent trailers for the game, the Diamond and Pearl clans were revealed as two tribes of people that worship Dialga and Palkia respectively. So, since we know that the Sinjo ruins were partially constructed by a tribe from Sinnoh long ago, and now we're being introduced to not one, but two tribes from Sinnoh that lived long ago, they have got to be the tribes that helped build the Sinjo ruins, whether they confirm that in Legends or not. However, because we're seemingly being introduced to the tribes that helped build the Sinjo ruins, it seems all the more likely that some kind of event surrounding them could actually appear in the game, or at the very least, the ruins could be mentioned in some way. I think the presence of the Diamond and Pearl clans definitely ups that likelihood, so keep an eye out for this once you get a chance to play the game for yourself. One key part of the Sinnoh experience that was pretty much absent from the other Sinnoh games that just released, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, was the Distortion World. It didn't really appear the way it does in Pokemon Platinum, but it obviously would be worth looking out for in Pokemon Legends, especially because it's already been all but confirmed that it's going to be present in some way. In one of the leaked screenshots for the game that leaked right as the game was revealed, it shows the player flying in the air, being carried by what we now know to be Hisuian Braviary. And in the background, we can also see Mount Coronet, with that infamous cloud hanging over its peak, which we know from Pokemon Platinum to be a portal to the Distortion World. So, short of an official confirmation, this pretty much tells us that the Distortion World is going to be in the game, which is very exciting. But now the question is, how will it be incorporated? Given that it's tied directly to Giratina, it probably will be tied to how you obtain Giratina in the game, especially because the game is all about building Sinnoh's Pokedex. And we've seen that a couple mythical Pokemon, like Shaman and Darkrai, are already confirmed to have events associated with them, meaning that the other legendaries and mythicals likely have special events reserved for them as well, making a Distortion World event for Giratina all the more possible, which is is very exciting. It's also possible that it's involved in the story in other ways as well, and could play other roles in the game too, which is a very exciting prospect. So it's yet another thing about this game that is very much worth getting hyped about, and it'll be interesting to see how it ultimately pans out. And last but not least, one very important thing to watch out for while playing Legends Arceus is the fate of the Seas Legend. Now, I've talked about this more than I probably should have, so I'll just give the summary version in this video. But basically, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl added a new Sinnoh myth to the Canalave City Library that wasn't in the original games called the Seas Legend. Its inclusion makes it seem like it could be referring to something in Legends Arceus, and the story describes what seems to be Manaphy, as well as a quillfish with giant spikes. The story itself talks about a person in search of who seems to be Manaphy, accompanied by a Mantike, a Weasel, and the aforementioned quillfish. Given this story's new inclusion in the Sinnoh remakes, and the story it seems to be telling about locating Manaphy, I personally believe that just how I mentioned that the Distortion World could be involved in a Giratina event, that this could be describing how an event to obtain Manaphy will play out in Legends Arceus. So, if you end up coming across a Mantike, a Buizel, and in particular, a Quillfish with huge spikes, possibly even a Hisuian Quillfish, or there happens to be a location in the game called the Seaside Hollow where this event apparently takes place, 
then we'll know for certain that this was indeed a bit of foreshadowing all along. But since as of right now we don't have any real confirmation, it's just going to be interesting to see how this ultimately shakes out one way or another. So you're definitely going to want to keep an eye out for this possible event or any signs of it as you start playing through Legends Arceus. So those are just a few interesting things that you should watch out for while playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. But how do you think they will pan out? Or are there any other things that you've noticed that we should keep an eye on as well? Let me know down in the comments and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out my Pokemon remixes on Spotify if you want to further support my ability to make content, which is extremely, extremely appreciated and helps out a ton. With that said, I'll be back very soon with another video, and until then, as always, thanks for watching, I love you guys very much, and I will smell you guys later.